Hello my dear friends, welcome back to Infigyan. In this video we are going to solve another very very interesting and exciting exponential equation for the real values of x. So let's get started by the general exponential form a power b equal to 1. Let us generalize this form of exponents. So I can consider three cases from here where we can evaluate or find out real solutions a power b equal to 1 here a is base and b is exponent or power so case number 1 where we will have base 1 once base is 1 whatever the value of b in reals we will get rhs 1 case number 2 once our power or exponent is equal to 0. At the same time, a cannot be 0. Otherwise, it will generate indeterminate form. And case number 3 is, if base is negative 1 and we have power even, then we will be getting negative 1 raised to the even number equal to 1 always. So this will be our case number 3. Let us solve as per our given equation. I will write 1. Here our base a equal to 1. Let us write a. This is a and power is b. That's why this is a power b equal to 1 form. So I can write x square minus 9x plus 19 equal to 1. Or we can write x square minus 9x plus 19 minus 1 equal to 0. Or x square minus 9x plus 18 equal to 0. Now I can find factors of 18. We can see 3 times 6 is 18 and if I will add both I will get middle coefficient 9. So I can split our middle term minus 9x as minus 3x minus 6x and product will be 18x square equal to 0. Now I can take x common from here. So in the bracket we will get x minus 3. From last two terms I can take negative 6 common out. We will get x minus 3 equal to 0. So we have x minus 3 times x minus 6 equal to 0. From product 0 rule we will be getting x equal to 3 and x equal to 6. Two real solutions. Now I will consider case number 2. Here power is 0. So I will write power is 0 but base can't be. This is our base A and power is B. Let's put power equal to 0. x square minus 3x plus 2 equal to 0. Again we can find factors of 2. So 2 times 1 and if I will add both I will be getting 3. So I can split minus 3x as minus x minus 2x plus 2 equal to 0. From first two terms we can take x common we will be getting x minus 1 in the bracket. From last two terms we can take minus 2 common out. In the bracket we will get x minus 1 equal to 0. So I can write x minus 1 times x minus 2 equal to 0. From product 0 rule we can write x will be equal to 1, x will be equal to 2. Now we have to make sure for these values of x, 
our base should not be equal to 0. So I will calculate a of 1 and a of 2. It should not be equal to 0. Let's calculate a of 1. A is here. So I will write x square minus 9x plus 19. So for 1, 1 is square minus 9 times 1 plus 19 will give us 1 plus 19 is 20, 20 minus 9, 11, which is non zero. For a2 value, I will write 2 square minus 9 times 2 plus 19. So I can write 4 plus 19, 23 minus 18, 5, which is again non zero. So both the solutions are accepted. So from case 1, we were 3 and 6. From case 2, we have 1 and 2. Now we have to consider our third case. Case number 3. This was A equal to negative 1 with power should be even number. Let's put A equal to negative 1. So I will write x square minus 9x plus 19 equal to negative 1. x square minus 9x plus 19 plus 1 equal to 0. Or x square minus 9x plus 20 equal to 0. Now we can see the factors of 20 as 5 times 4 and if I will add these two, I will be getting middle coefficient 9. So I will be writing here x square minus 9x we can write minus 5x minus 4x product will be 20x square equal to 0. From first two terms we can take x common. From last two, negative 4 we will take common. So we are getting factors x minus 5 times x minus 4 equal to 0. Now from product 0 rule, we will write x will be equal to 4 and 5. So I can write x will be equal to 4 x will be equal to 5. Now we have to make sure power should be even for these x values. So I will write here the value of b4 it should be even and the value of b5 this should also be even. So if I will write the value of b4 then I need to write 4 square minus 3 times 4 plus 2. This will be equal to 16 minus 12 plus 2. So 18 minus 12. This is coming out 6 and 6 is even number. So accepted. So 4 is accepted x value. Now we will calculate b5. So I will write 5 is square minus 3 times 5 plus 2 which will give us 25 minus 15 plus 2 this will be equal to 27 minus 12 so 27 minus 15 is 12 i will write this is an even number so 5 is also accepted solution so in case 1, we were x equal to 3 and 6 as a solutions. From case 2, we calculated x equal to 1 and 2. And from last case, the third one, x was 4 and 5. So I can write here, we have six solutions.
वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स आई होप फ्रेंड्स यू विल लाइक दिस वीडियो थैंक यू सो वेरी मच फॉर वॉचिंग डू नॉट फॉरगेट टू सब्सक्राइब अवर चैनल बबाई टिल नेक्स्ट वीडियो गुड लक टेक केयर बबाई